Hey guys, Toya Cuts here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a DIY face scrub and face mask. I'm so excited because you can use the things in your kitchen. So easy, just a few ingredients. You know I love things that are healthy because health is wealth. And if you wanna know how I get my skin free, clear, and glowing, make sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, so the only things you'll need for the face scrub are a mixing bowl, brown sugar, olive oil, one lemon, a cutting knife, and spatula, our spoon for mixing. So now that you have your ingredients, let's get into this scrub. First, we're gonna use the brown sugar. Now guys, you can eye this out because all we're doing is making enough to make your face popping. So don't worry about doing all of that measuring. We're just gonna eyeball it out to make just enough for today. Next, we're gonna use our olive oil. So what I'm gonna do right now is just use just enough and then I'm gonna do a little stirring to see how much I'm going to need more of. Okay, so we're gonna need a little bit more of this. So let's add a little more. So we're gonna use just enough to make sure that we are able to mix it with our sugar. So if you need to add more, because it's not really how you desire, just add a little bit more. So I'm gonna allow mine to be a little bit grittier because I like that extra scrub feeling. It always feels so good when I rinse it off. So now I'm about to use my knife. Yeah, you heard me, knife. <laughs> so you're just cutting it in half. And what you're gonna do with the lemon is you're going to squeeze it on in here. Don't worry about if some of the seeds fall in because you can always take them out. So you see that there's moisture, but it still has a great amount of grittiness to it. And that is just how we want it. Woo, it's perfect. I'm so excited. Let's get into the scrub. Okay, now that we have this bomb mixture, now we're gonna apply it to our face. So. I'm just gonna start with uh, right here on my forehead in my T-zone area. Ooh, this feels so cool, guys. <laughs> Get back into like your childlike behavior. Something your mama wouldn't let you do when you was a kid, you know? Okay, so with your clean hands, make sure they clean. You don't want no dirty nails or no dirty hands on your face while you're trying to cleanse your face. We're gonna rub this in with our hands. Okay, it's gonna be a little gritty, but this is awesome. Mm. Oh, do your lips. You're gonna love doing your lips. They're gonna feel so smooth when you're done. Oh my God, you're gonna be covering like, what? What have I been doing all my life? Okay, so listen, we're not gonna do these eyes today because honey, I just got my lashes done yesterday and we are not messing this up, fam, okay? Okay, so we're nice and rubbed in. And I like to do circular motions, so you can do circular motions as well. So, this is the before. And now I'm gonna show you what the after looks like. I just wipe my face and it feels so good. If you ain't singing after you wipe your face, honey, <laughs> you did something wrong. You might wanna just rewind a little bit, rewatch and redo, cause your skin should be glowing and feeling like, honey baby. Anyway, speaking of honey, let's get into this mask. We're doing a citrus mask. Here's the secret ingredients. You will need a banana, mandarin orange, and honey. That's it, baby. The banana is packed with vitamin A, which restores moisture and smooths out the rough texture of the skin and heals dry, parched skin. The mandarin orange is another vitamin C agent that is bomb for the skin for those antioxidants. And lastly, the honey helps your skin absorb and retain moisture, which keeps it from drying on out. So this mask will definitely be perfect to maintain amazing skin that looks and feels great. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the banana. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut it open. So we're not gonna use all of the banana. We're just gonna use a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna cut it up so that it helps when it's time to mash it on up and make our mask. And then, you know, I'm a little hungry during this film. It's like, I'm having a little snack. This is why I love doing masks that you can use food you can eat. Cause listen, if you can't put it in your body, you shouldn't be putting it on your body, okay? 
So we're gonna have, put this Nana on in here. And I'm just gonna smash it up a little bit before we get to putting all the other ingredients in. Now we done with that spoon, we getting back to the spatula. So you're gonna have a little bit of clumps here. And if anybody <laughs> went through what I just went through, I know your arms is hurting just a little bit, but that's okay. We just gonna use us a little bit of orange juice, baby. We only need a little bit. That's all we need. Take a little piece off of here. You just squeeze it on in there. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. For a good cause. Okay, so we're gonna play with it just to make sure we got just the right amount. If you feel like you wanna add a little bit more, then add some more. Once you mix your orange juice with the banana, now it's time to add the honey, baby. So I'm just gonna put just a small, a smidget amount on here. I'm gonna put that in there like so. Mix it right on up. So don't be afraid to have a few lumps in there again. We're gonna just put this on our face, it's okay. And that extra orange that you had that you didn't use, go ahead and eat it. Okay, so now that we're finished making the mask, now it's time to eat the mask. I mean, use the mask. All right, we're gonna just apply it to our T-zone area again. Oh, it's gonna feel a little cold. And don't worry if you feel a little weird, you know, it's a little different putting food on your face. You're used to putting it in your body, but that's okay. So now we're just gonna rub it in the same way we did the scrub. Now listen guys, some of this might fall off. A little weird. Feel like Mrs. Dalfire. Y'all remember when Mrs. Dalfire had that, that mask on? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. It's just a dripping everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna allow it to sit for 10 minutes. If you wanna let it sit for 15 minutes, that's cool too. So just give it a little time and then we're gonna wipe it on off. Okay now, after that face scrub and that mask, Oh, you should be feeling like a new woman. Our man, whatever, you should feel like a new person. Whichever one, you know which, you know who I'm talking to. My skin is popping, okay? It feels so good. You should be able to go out in the world and bless the world with all that beauty, okay? Now listen, make sure you use your favorite moisturizer when it's all said and done because you want a nice little finishing touch, okay? Now, I am curious, what is your favorite moisturizer? If you wanna tell me, go ahead and comment down below. And if you don't know what your favorite moisturizer is, cause you just don't have one, then go ahead and let me know that too. Because I'ma hook you up and give you the scoop on that too. If your skin is feeling good, go ahead and hit that like button because that means you out here doing your thing, honey. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. And if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you ring my bell.